All right, guys, we're back, and we're going straight to the thumbnail once again. One year of marriage. Yes. The ups and the downs. <laughs> uh, our anniversary, uh, our one-year anniversary is actually tomorrow. Uh, by the time this airs, uh, it'll probably be a, a day or so past. What's, what, what you got, babe? So I was just going to start out with some of the simple questions, I guess, or and we can both just elaborate on it. Um, I'm going to start with, uh, what was some of the hardships that happened within this year of being married? Yeah, just, yeah t- tell them about some of the hardships. Oh, my goodness. Uh, some of the hardships for our first year of marriage. Um, where do I start? Let's see, I recently lost my brother, so my husband had to deal with his wife losing a sibling. Um, we, you know, changes of jobs, you know, and um, also, you know, my son, I guess, becoming grandparent soon next year because I have a son that has a child on the way. To me, those are challenges because you go into a marriage and, you know, for me, um, my eyesight was just, you know, it's us, we're going to build, we're going to, you know, just thrive, which we still plan on doing. But when those type of things happen, it is kind of challenging because we didn't expect them this soon. That's a fact. Um, and I think some of the things that you uh, had to deal with uh, as far as from me uh, would, would be I, I changed jobs earlier in the year. Uh, February, I changed jobs. Uh, from February to March, uh, things was, you know what I'm saying, really weird. Uh, but we work through that. I, I think uh, some of the beauty is going through the adversity, facing the adversity, understanding that we don't go together and, and, <laughs> and, and we got to stay together and work this thing out. So uh, it, it was it was a uh, it was challenging. It was definitely uh, challenging, but I guess that would kind of go into the second question. I was going to ask, how did we thrive? Um, I for- think they go to. I apologize, but I think they go with what I was just saying, uh, the adversity. I think we thrive through adversity. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think, you know what I'm saying, by facing the adversity together, I think we were able to thrive because we were always able to get to a solution. uh, uh, And or if we weren't able to get to a solution right then, right away, because every issue, you're not going to have a solution right away. It just is what it is, you know. some some issues you just have to uh, face it head on and, and make sure it doesn't be uh, doesn't get swept under the rug because uh, in a lot of relationships and or marriages I'm sure it's a lot of rug sweeping going on. Well, when I think about how did we thrive, I was gonna say more of kind of like just picking it back. I, I thought that was perfect how your answer went into that because that was my second question. But to pick it back off what you said, you know, we had each other. Um, I think going through those kind of help us learn each other a little bit more um, and help us through those growing pains. I think we grew through those challenges. Um, So, you know, it it was, I think it's easier when you have someone that you know, regardless of how y'all might disagree or might look at different because those are the growing pains, but it is a special and beautiful thing when you have someone to lean on, to have your back, doing those challenges are hard. And I think at the end of the day, we still remember we were a team. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Toast to us. Toast to us. And first of all, guys, uh, uh, we're not deacons or bishops, and so we can't have a little strong drink. Okay? (laughs) Check your Bible out. That's you. Anyway, uh, (laughs) what else you got, babe? Well, um, the next one is going to be... How would you say we've changed within this last year? Are we changed? What do you mean? Well, I think... um, I think we have changed. I think we are sharper. Um, when we were dating, I think things were a little different. So the mindset changed when it came to marriage, at least for me. Um, I know some things, the way I was still thinking, and I can kind of give you an example. You know, a lot of times during this year, my husband had to correct me and say, hey, you know, you keep saying I. 
for you. You know what I'm saying? But it's us and we, you know. So that was a, a change for me to get on board with. And I think, you know, it's still a work in park, but I'm still, um, that was that was when I say change, the mindset. You know, transitioning from single, even though you would have thought I would have done that while we were together dating, but I think it comes a little bit more intense when you're married. Yeah, yeah. Maybe for you it was real then, but for me, the, the guy on his knees uh, asking somebody to marry him, it had been real for me already. Uh, I didn't change anything. Uh, I, I was still the same, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, mindset. You know, I, nothing single. Well, I think you know it was just more of because a lot of times I didn't even know I was doing it. You know, until you pointed it out. So yeah, so that was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I, I think uh, as far as change, your lifestyle is completely different. So, you know, I tried to change my mindset uh, leading up to a proposal. And, uh, and I, so, of course, I uh, prayed and meditated about that and uh, I seek wise counsel. Uh, and I, I think anybody should uh, also seek wise counsel. Another thing that I did learn during this uh, first year of marriage Guys, if you're not serious mm -hmm. about, if, if this isn't a, a, a goal between you and this person, this this deeper than uh than love, you know, like Tina said, what's love got to do with it? I can tell you right now, love has nothing to do with it. That's a fact, guys. And I don't mean that in an ugly way. Mm -mm, because yeah. we did, and, and I agree with you because we have to like each other. Love, I love Major all day long. There's a lot of stuff that I might not like. Well, actually, there's a lot of stuff I do like about my husband, but I'm just using it as an example. Like and love is hard, are two different things. So you definitely, you know, want to like. Uh, love, like you said, Tina, uh, has nothing to do with it. Yeah, um, um, I, I said uh, in the beginning, when we started dating, that like is better than love. And that, that holds strong right now. Like is better than love. You got to like him or her. You need to like them a lot. <laughs> well, and another thing you said before I go to the, the next question was seek wise counsel. Now, with that, I'm going to say for ladies, uh, we have friends. A lot of us, you know, when you get married, we still have those single friends, which is great. But you don't want to go into telling your friends whether they're married in relationships or single too much of your business. One thing I can honestly say that I've learned during this year was go to God with all your problems. I mean, mm -hmm. if that's your, whatever your higher power is, mine's is, you know, I believe in Christ Jesus. So go to him. He will not stir you wrong. Another thing was, uh, you know, cause I always like Jesus is the head of my life. Now I had to ask God to like come into my marriage to be the head of our marriage. Um, so I wanted to point that out. I, I thought that was good because you do want to seek wise counsel. And the times that I have seek counsel, it's always from people who been married uh, for years that has some, you know, some wisdom to share. And that you can always do. But you want to be careful and mindful of what you share about your marriage when you're angry or emotional. And, and men, uh, you guys need to follow God. She's supposed to follow you. If it doesn't go in that way, if it goes any other way, you're not equally yoked because she's not going to respect the beta male if you're following her. So go ahead and get on out of that, <laughs> okay? You follow God, she follows you, okay? It just is what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what else you got, babe? Oh, uh, that was so good that you said that and we kind of transition into that because the next question is what help us to get through those hard times or to through tough times? Well, I, I, I think um, I think foundation and um, and also, of course, uh, <laughs> God. <laughs> so I, so I, I definitely think foundation, setting a strong foundation uh, day one uh, as far as what we were doing, what we were uh, trying to accomplish, you know, and so we can always go back to day one and, and sometimes uh, both with, both parties need to be reminded wh what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, why am I giving her a hard time? Why is she giving me a hard time? You know what I'm saying? We're not in it to give each other a hard time. We're in it to... Uh, uh, rise each other's capabilities of, you know what I'm saying? Help each other reach the full potential as one, as mm -hmm. one flesh together. So, I, that's a major key. And that's major. 
Um, <laughs> nice. I would say um, that something that I actually learned later on in the year of our marriage, but it's been working because I've been trying to apply it, is to be quiet. Mm. Um, there have always there have always been times that I was quiet, but I have learned that um, if I just be quiet, no matter how upset the things usually simmer down. Be quiet and pray. It's the, it's the counsel that was given to me from a couple of women that I would say that have wisdom. And when and I and don't get me wrong, when they first told me, I was like, no, I'm gonna say what I got to say. You know, I had that type of attitude. But honestly, I um, got to the point and I was like, you know what, like there'll be times I'm like, mm -mm, I'm not gonna say nothing, or be quiet. And those look times I have seen, be quiet and pray. Mm. So um, I would say that works for us. I, I, I think uh, I got something else uh, for the guys. Um, um, it, if you're anything like I am or like I was, because I'm a new person now, praise God. <laughs> but if you're anything like I was, uh, it's a tough adjustment from uh, from Casanova to, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, uh, married, you know what I'm saying, Honest Joe. So um, one of the key things that I learned is negotiation is cool. Now, I know in America that we do not negotiate with terrorists, and I understand that in a man's world that women are terrorists, okay? But if you're going to lock in with, with, uh, with, with the terrorists, because you do want to lock in with the terrorists, it's, it's about to be winter right now. Some of you guys are going to be cold. Okay, because you because you're not sleeping with the enemy. But sometimes it is sleeping with the enemy, and to lock in with the terrorist guys, you gotta negotiate. So uh, being don't don't break. I mean, it, 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 you know, in all seriousness, guys, we gotta be in. You know, what I'm saying, um, you know, negotiate, uh, meet in the middle. It is what it is. Um, before I go to the next one, I, I want to also say that remember that your marriage, your marriage relationship with your husband is going to be different from someone else's. You know what I'm saying? Just because somebody else said, hey, this worked for me or I went through this, this is going to happen. It went this way. No, you cannot base it on that. Not for everything. But as my husband said, you set the foundation. You know, some things in our foundation was God. So as you see, we always went back to that prayer. Be quiet and talk to God. Um, you know, God, give him counsel. So, you know, the foundation is important, but just know that everyone is different. Everyone is different. Mm -hmm. uh, best moments in um, this year. Uh, the best moments was probably, uh, uh, get you know, the, uh, the ride here. You know what I'm saying? I, every bump, every bruise, every, you know what I'm saying? Every good moment, every bad moment. To me, it was all the moments. For me, I mean, it's, a, a year is only 365 days, it's pretty short. So um, uh, the whole year was a blast for me. You know what I'm saying? The, the, it's a roller coaster, like, uh, you know, uh, Seinfeld said on the Wale track. You know, the, the clickers at the top, and then we going down real fast. Then we go back up. You know, so the great ups to downs, more. yeah, all the moments was great for me. Great, but moment. but if I had to be single down to one moment, it would be, uh, the, I guess the, the morning after, the first morning actually being married. Uh, not not just uh, not just with you know in the the law, because of course we had got married two days before our wedding. Was it two? I thought it was the day before. Uh, it might have been the day before. I can't remember. It was a okay. year ago. Yeah, I, I I go by the day that we was in the church. Before the Lord. Okay, so so uh, you know the, the day after uh, being uh, both uh, law and outside of God, it was that was uh, probably the for me that was just a, a top no moment. You know what I'm saying? It was a championship. It was like having another kid. Um, best moments for me, I would say the times you prayed for me. Um, the reason there are the best moments for me is because I know this might seem hard to believe, but I could be difficult to deal with. <laughs> 
a little bit, just just a little bit. I ain't that, maybe a little bit difficult, but uh, when you can find someone who can say, hey, let me grab you by the hand and and pray for you even after you have been complicated, after you have been loud and nauseous and just not really kind and nice. I love those moments because those are the moments that draw, bring me back down and those are the moments that I remember when I am angry. You know what I'm saying? Um, those, those moments and... Yeah, I can just appreciate the times that you deal with me. The best moments is the knowing when you are wrong and you know you did wrong or you was out of order and to feel, realize that this person still loves you regardless. Uh, I think that's one of the best feelings and I think that is rooted in our foundation and I don't think this is just going to be the first year I feel like that. I think you're capable and have been giving me that feeling um, always. So... Yeah, those are my best moments. Yeah, one down, a uh, lifetime to go. A lifetime to go. Um, and let me see. Will you choose me again? That's the next one. I wrote that down. Is that the last one? Mm-mm. Okay. The, you want to go to the last no, one? Okay. No. Okay, the last one is. I would choose you again uh, an infinite amount of times in an infinite amount of worlds. In an infinite amount of uh, 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 reincarnations, let's say Buddha was, you know, let's say that was real. Was <laughs> okay, real. right. But uh, infinitely, I would always choose you. Man, she did she just drink? Have a drink on? Man, that's a good thing. That's something to drink to. You will always choose me because yeah. I will always choose you too. Mm. I honestly believe. That God couldn't have given me no one else that would be able to mold, uh, teach, guide, lead. It would have to have been Major Strong. I mean, his name speaks volumes. His name is Major Strong. God knew what I needed <laughs> when he gave me you. So um, definitely, most definitely would choose you. Okay, going into the... She like, cap. I am not I just, cap. I just playing. I would choose you. I believe you. I would. You do that for me. You really do. Um, I think I definitely can look back. I, I, before I go to this goal, uh, I can definitely say being with you has made me better. Um, I think we mentioned this on a different episode. You know, sharp, uh, what is it? Iron sharpens iron. And those moments that we have... Uh, difficulties, disagreements, challenges, whatever you want to call them, he's definitely sharpened me. And I think it's by, vice versa. I think we sharpen each other. So, yeah. That's um, a fact. Not, def- not kept, not kept. Okay, the last question. What's one goal you want to reach before our next anniversary? Uh, our next anniversary. <laughs> that's a good one. Come on. That's like this. <laughs> I'm being all seriousness. <laughs> yeah, all seriousness, you know. Another 365 with you. <laughs> we, we, hey, <laughs> that was some shade, y'all. I'm just playing. He threw I love shade my wife. Me. Yeah. Um, but no, in all seriousness, I, uh, my next goal is to reach another 365. Yeah, I, nothing in between. I already got short term goals. You already know those. You talking about personal goals? I'm not going to announce all those Mm-mm. on air. Okay, okay, Mm-mm. yeah, yeah. I was just talking about with us, with yeah, our marriage. To get to another uh, year of marriage. And I'm going to yeah. agree with that, um, just to make it to the next year. Yeah. I mean. Marriage tough, guys. Hey, you got to be serious. And right. a lot of people don't make it the first year. I mean, I have read where people got divorced in a couple months, six months, uh, annulled, you know, all that type of stuff. Um, How long were you guys married? Uh, make sure you leave a comment on that. Yes. And what was some of the things that helped you get through to make it to the years of marriage you made it to? Mm. Um, this is what worked for us. We made it to a year, through a year, one year of marriage, many, many, and I guess a lifetime to go. Uh, I tease my husband all the time. I tell him, you know, when we go to heaven and be in our mansions, I'm going to be in his mansion just there. <laughs> if he go before me, respect me to come. If I go before him, I'm going to be in his mansion where you know him. <laughs> I didn't tell you that. I did. 
Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. You did. I, I just think um, it's going to uh, be many challenges for any and everybody trying to make it through one year. Uh, uh, who who are just been blessed to make it through one year, you know. Uh, like you said, uh, everybody's marriage is different, so uh, I'm, I'm glad and blessed to uh, make it through a year. I mean, it ain't been roses. I know I might be smiling, but it's been a couple of times I had to call my prayer warriors and, you know, uh-uh, y'all got to pray for us. Yeah. Pray for me, pray for my husband. And I think those prayers, oh, let me just say this, too, before we, you know, end the night or anything. Having that circle of people, the friends that, you know, the people that you can call on and say, hey, pray for us. Without questions or nothing, they say we're praying. You know what I'm saying? For you, it's important. I think uh, if you're looking into getting married, who you choose to be in your corner, those groomsmen, your bridesmaids, matrons, maid of honor, um, is important because it's not just that one day. You're going to need them. You're going to be able, need to be able to say, hey, pray for us or lift us up or, you know what I'm saying, give me some encouragement. So, um I wanted to say that real quick. I agree with that. I just I'm I'm, I'm gonna keep riding with the uh, with the uh, older guys' advice who are uh, married is in my corner and uh, just keep everybody out your business, guys. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, uh, try try to you know what I'm saying I, I hate to make it sound this bad, but try to keep you keep your wife away from all the unmarried you know what I'm saying ladies you know uh, because gossip and you know uh, uh, birds of the feather. Uh, it's, yeah, I'm wrong now, but yeah, I, hey, you know, you guys know I gotta be a little controversial. I wouldn't say birds of a feather, but I would say um, when you have people who's not married and you have those moments where you're upset or angry or emotional, and I say emotional because a lot of women are very emotional. We're emotional creatures. When you're emotional and you reach out to single people and they be saying, girl, if I, it was me, I would do this and that. That stuff feeds, that energy is feeding into your energy and you don't, you want to be careful to not bring that energy into an already heightened emotional situation because you got, you know, that even though you like might tune them out, you might not even agree with what they're saying, but that energy, what of those words plays a part I will say that I wouldn't say the birds are the feather though because people I think people can be different and have different ways of life and still be friends you know I know that but yeah, but uh, definitely be careful with dealing with your single friends yeah that might have something to do with the double standard guys what I'm saying is I can't go out with my player partner it's not going to be healthy for me so guys listen to me I'm, I'm talking about the guys Okay, the ladies, what, what, whatever, listen to her if that's what you want to do. But, uh, you know, stay away from your player partners and draw them at the, at the you know, the shindigs and the gatherings together. But, uh, you know, the one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock rock, <laughs> you know, you might want to stay out of there. Um, that's something I think I'm glad and grateful that we don't really have to deal with. Um, I'm not going to be out there late. I think people know that I do talk to. I don't even, I'm not going to be out there late. Um, but it's a thing. I had to mention it. It happens in marriages. And another thing I can honestly appreciate that I can honestly say for me and, and my husband, we hadn't had to deal with any infidelity, thank God. I'm not dealing with a piece of infidelity. The Bible say divorcing. And I'm out of there. I mean, I'm not dealing with it, but I thank God we haven't had to deal with it. I feel very secure um, in my marriage. And that's a blessing. And you have to count the blessing, count the little wins, count all the positives, and it's worth it. Everything counts. Everything counts. Yeah. Yeah. The little, uh, as far as the big, as, as, as well as the big stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, guys, uh, I had a couple drinks tonight. We celebrating <laughs> one year. One so, year. Sorry if, I, if I'm not coherent. <laughs> the, the guy today who uh, was dissing me on our short, anyway. Chavo. Hey guys, that's major. <laughs> that's major.